Hey guys, what's up? QDogger here. Today we're going to be talking about Toby Flenderson and how he is the Scranton Strangler. I've already made two separate videos about this topic. The links to those will be listed in the description. And this will be the third installment to my Toby Flenderson Scranton Strangler conspiracy theory, which actually segues to my first topic. I call it my conspiracy theory or my Toby Flenderson conspiracy theory, but truthfully, it's a fan theory. It's not mine. There's lots of comments saying this isn't your theory. It's a been around before your video. And that is true. I just like to address that that is a fan theory as a whole. I did not create it, so just giving credit where credit is due. Now, the next thing I'd like to address is in the comments section. The comments section on my videos used to be they just debate the topic uh, if Toby was a Scranton Strangler or not, but around like three or four months ago, everyone just started saying that I sound like the Scranton Strangler or that my voice gives them cancer or um, that my voice ruined the video or that my voice sounds like I just killed someone or that I'm the real Scranton Strangler. Just things of that nature just roasting me, but I'm just, I'm trying to be less monotone and more like like lively and hopefully I'm doing a better job this video. Now if you watched my other videos on Toby, you know that I think that he framed the person who strangled him at the prison in the end of the show, but I never gave you his name, and I don't know why I never gave you his name. I knew his name, I just never put in the video. The, the fake Scranton Strangler that Toby framed is named George Howard Scubb, and that's just some crucial information that I left out. It's almost unforgivable, but hopefully you will forgive me. Now there's been a lot of comments about in how in my first video I said that Toby left the table and Robert California took the quote win winners, unquote, out to lunch and Toby got up and left. I said it was because Jim was talking about his daughter and how she likes being tickled and Toby associated the tickling with strangling. That was just me searching at anything I could find, just the littlest breadcrumb about him being the strangler. That was just me being desperate for evidence. The truth is he just knows he's not a winner and Toby's a loser, okay? That's, that's just a fact. It was just bad evidence on my part. I probably should have took it out, but I'm just going to leave it in. I just want to let you know it's not valid evidence. The reason why he left the table is because Toby is a loser. In my first video, I showed a clip of Toby as evidence. People claim I took it out of context. Before I do any more explaining, I'll just show you the clip. You are the silent killer. Go back to the annex. You'll see. My You'll see. Now that you've seen the clip, let me further explain it to you. Toby was trying to convince Michael to get the office's air quality tested for toxins. He claims these toxins are silent killers. Then Michael says, you are the silent killer, go back to the annex, and Toby says, you'll see. That is the context of the clip. But what it means for my theory is that Toby knows or is thinking about a threat that he knows will happen at some point in the future. And it's the writer's way of giving us clues that he is in fact the Scranton Strangler. This next clip is probably the most compelling evidence outside the show for my theory. About a month ago, there were Tarted Feminist left this comment with a link to this video. Toby and the minor core bad guy. <laughs> Scranton Strangler. <laughs> I was at that trial, Chloe, the whole time sitting blood spattered shirt at the Halloween party. <laughs> right there, looking with all the victims, relatives here, you know, right in the middle there. No one noticed me, staring at Toby. He's <laughs> testifying, you know. Oh, they got the wrong guy. <laughs> One, two, three. That clip was from a video titled Creed Bratton Sings the Office Theme Song His Way in Carborough, North Carolina. In the video, he sings a little jingle about every single character in the office to the tune of the office theme song. What you saw was his entire bit about Toby, so I didn't take it out of context. And if you don't believe me, you can watch the full video by clicking the link in the description below. And actually, it's just a great song. If you like the office, you should watch the video anyway. Now let's talk about what was said in this clip. Before Creed says anything about the Scranton Strangler, he says, Toby, minor chord, bad guy. Now, why would Toby be a bad guy? There's really no reason, except for the fact that he is the Scranton Strangler. Now, was it coincidence that his very next words were Scranton Strangler? No, it's because Toby is a Scranton Strangler, and just like my theory later, he says, oh, they got the wrong guy. Everything Creed said in his song about Toby lines up perfectly with my theory, and Creed would know because he's good friends with the creators of The Office. It's actually how he got on the show. He was originally supposed to be an extra, and then he had an awesome audition tape 
that got him to become the character of Creed. You can find that on YouTube. So he would be in a good position to know this sort of thing, or maybe the whole cast of The Office knew. Also, Toby, or the actor that played Toby, was one of the main writers on the show, along with Ryan and Kelly, who are also all in the annex. The point is, this is reliable information from a reliable source, and I am right. Toby is the Scranton Strangler. If you are hearing this, it means you made it to the end of the video, and thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on because there will be more videos about this theory. And until next time, see ya.